We're going to do one more lesson here. I think this will be the last one for uh, this PACE 1101, at least at this point, unless I get feedback from students that they're having trouble with something else in this PACE. But this is from pages 35 through 36. And I'm going to show you uh, and I'm just kind of walk you through the method that is explained in the PACE. And uh, actually, once you do, these problems are not too bad. And then I'm telling you what, when you get to page 37, 38, those are easy. Those are some of my favorite problems. You just cross multiply and uh, set those cross products equal to each other. And then you solve for X and phew, you've been doing that um, since algebra half, uh, pre-algebra and, and earlier this year. So I don't think you'll find page 37, 38, 39 too hard. And then story problems. Yeah. And then everything else is review, check up, self-test, you're almost done, okay? Let's, um, let's walk through this one. This is one of the problems in your homework, okay? But I just want, we're not gonna solve it for you, I just wanna set you up and think about this. So the method that we wanna use is we wanna find the common denominator, okay? A common multiple, a least common multiple of all of these numbers. So thinking about the number six, four, and three, um, could we do 24? We could, but that's not the smallest number, okay? Could we do 12? Ah, 12 will work for all of these, okay? Now I'm not actually gonna get a common denominator. What I'm trying to do is multiply everything through by 12. So I'm gonna distribute 12 times each of these terms, okay? And I need to remember also to do it to the last term over there. I always like when I just have a number by itself to put it over one. That way I remember, oh yeah, that's a numerator. I need to do that one. So here what happens is we multiply the 12 times this. Now you could do 12 times five and get 60. Take the 60, divide by six and get 10. Or what I like to do is cancel here. So 12 canceled against the six is two. And then two times five X is 10 X, all right? Let's try that with the next one. 12 canceled against the four would give you three. So plus three X, let's go a little further. 12 canceled against the three is four, but now I gotta multiply that four times the two. Should give you eight. I could do 12 times two is 24. I'll take 24 and divide by three, all right? And uh, either way we get the eight. <laughs> 8x, so this is the cool thing about math. I love math because there are multiple ways of doing it, and as long as you do it correctly, you always get the right answer. So it's not like there's only one way to do it, okay? We could multiply it first and then divide, or we can cancel before we multiply. So easy, math is fun, all right? And then the last term is we take the 42 times the 12, and I'm gonna stop right there because I'm not doing that one in my head, okay? Then we look over here, we say that, aha, I have some like terms. So you can combine your like terms, you have a big number here, and you can finish that and solve for x. They don't give you very many problems, only like three or four or five problems to do for homework, but hopefully that's enough to uh, give you some practice and uh, help you be ready for the upcoming checkup, self-test, pace test. All right, do well, and uh, we'll see you in the next pace.